Hello, and welcome back to another Premier Draft Beer Services training video where we bring out the best in beer. Today's video will, will be about using your electric pump to clean a beer system that has reversible beer pumps. Let's get started. We will be primarily working from one tower, but cleaning two towers simultaneously. And on this first tower here, we'll be cleaning lines two and three. And on our second tower, we'll be cleaning line one. You can see that line one has a lockout tag installed. This is imperative for safety, so we prevent any accidents from happening. The concept for this is simple. Right now, beer is set to be in the out motion. As you can see, the arrows representing beer pouring. The red arrow represents a directional change, and the blue represents the continual flow. And if we clean this whole beer system, you can see that it just switches the direction every other faucet. The first line on the second tower is going to continue to stay in its out motion as we are doing a three-way cleaning here. And I will disconnect the first line from the second tower. And we're going to connect it to a three-way cleaning coupler and then hook up both line two and three from the first tower. And the first line on that second tower is going to stay in its out motion. So all we need to do is just open up its fob to enable the flow. And since we are connecting our pump to line number two as an in, we need to change the direction of that flow. To change the direction of a reversible pump, just go ahead and grab the paddle. They are firm, be careful not to snap the clip, and flip its direction, and the arrow will represent that it's successfully in the right direction. And now that we've changed the direction of what we need for line two, just go ahead and open up those fobs, and we can actually begin the cleaning process now. Before we do that, we're going to turn off the gas supply to the beer pumps. Otherwise, when you open up these faucets, it'll have a significant flow rate. And when looking at line two, you can see how there's no beer falling and line three there is. That just shows a great representation of which line has been switched direction. Mostly everything is a typical common process now. The only difference is we had those beer pumps where we have to change the direction. Now that everything's connected, we can go ahead and turn our pump on. And you'll actually see the flow happening here as well. Before we turn our pumps on, you can go ahead and engage the gas one more time. And here's what beer pumps sound like when they're operating. We have one in and one out. And before we begin to handle chemical, it's always wise to wear eyewear as well as gloves to protect. And as we wait for a chemical to meet circulation, go ahead and disassemble your faucets and begin soaking them for the cleaning. And 
And lines two and three are now fully cleaned. So let's go ahead and recirculate this. And then we can now pull through this chemical on the other tower in the other area. As usual, anything that contacts beer needs to be in contact with caustic, so go ahead and purge those fobs. And remember, we never change the directional flow of this line. So really, you just need to open up the faucet and begin a static cleaning. And that's starting to look good. It looks like it's stripped all the beer from the line. And we're just about to pure caustic. Perfect. Ensure to reinstall the lockout tag before you leave this tower. And there you have it. You have everything filled up. We have both this line on a static cleaning and both of these lines and a recirculating. And let's go ahead and clean our faucets up. You can reference one of our other videos titled Removing and Disassembling Beer Faucets for further information about these Perlick styles. Our 15 minutes for the recirculation has passed, so let's go ahead and rinse with water. And once all the caustic has been rinsed, we can recirculate the water. And we've also now hit our 20 minute mark on the static cleaning. So go ahead and open up that faucet until we see your clear water. And we're mostly done. Turn those beer pumps back off. Turn your pump off. Let's disassemble our gear and put everything back the way we found it. Before we reassemble everything, let's make sure that although we've had caustic pass through this faucet, we still need to remove and disassemble to ensure that every part of it has been cleaned. And now we've cleaned it. Let's reinstall it. We can now disconnect the keg couplers from the cleaning couplers. We will brush these tavern heads. And before we reinstall them, after we're done scrubbing them, make sure to dry out that downstem bung area. So we are reattaching a clean tavern head to a clean keg. And before we engage the keg coupler, we want to put the direction of the one beer pump that we changed back to its original dispense mode. And once those arrows line up, you're set. You can now go ahead and engage all the keg couplers.
Turn the beer pump gas back on. And we will pull through water until we see clear beer. It's also super important to leave no trace. Make sure that you clean up everything and leave it cleaner than when how you found it. Let's go ahead and purge any residual air left in the fob. And we will finally pull through to ensure everything is pouring correctly. And we want to see clear beer just like this. And that's how you effectively clean a beer system using a recirculating method with reversible beer pumps. Thanks so much for watching. For any more questions, contact your territory supervisor.